Hi quilters, we're back from our most recent quilt retreat and we thought we'd put out a video and tell you all about it. Every spring and fall, we have a quilters retreat at Ingham Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp in Milford, Iowa. It's 10 days of sewing, shopping, friends, and fun. At the store, we refer to retreat as quilt camp. We start planning for the next camp when we get home from the previous camp. We're always thinking about the next camp. We start packing and list making long before the day we head for camp, but the day the truck arrives to take us to camp is the day it all comes together. As we pack and load the truck, we check things off our list so that we make sure we don't forget anything. We've made new quilts, new projects, new kits, demos, and of course, we pack all the newest products and fabrics. We also pack our old faithfuls, things that are always with us because we always need them. While we're packing and hauling, it seems like we're taking the entire store, but we do leave behind a majority of our inventory. Loading and unloading the truck day is hard work. Thankfully, we have Dan to help load and drive the truck. We couldn't do it without him. Planning a retreat in Iowa in March sometimes can be a little tricky because you don't know what the weather is going to be. One year we had a snowstorm. This year we had perfect weather. It was beautiful. Once the truck is nearly loaded, Deanne and I head over ahead of the truck to get quilts on the wall before Dan arrives with the truck. Milford, Iowa is located 88 miles west of Forest City. It takes us about an hour and 50 minutes to get there without stops. Once Dan gets the final items and all of our carts loaded into the truck, he's off to join us. Once we get to camp, it's a flurry of activity to get the quilts on the wall before Dan arrives. If you want to see the spaces available at Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp, look at their website. They have a tour on there. We will leave a link in the description below for you to find it. Also, check out the quilt auction they have every August. This year, the camp is proudly celebrating their 100th anniversary. Once Dan arrives with the truck, it's time to unload all the fabric and the boxes and bins with all of our supplies. We head over to camp a day before the campers are set to arrive. That way we have time to get everything in place and make it look pretty. It also gives us some time to figure out what we've forgotten so that we can have somebody bring it over to us. It doesn't matter how many lists we make, there's always something that we forget. We try to make excellent use of the small space we have for our on-site quilt shop. We bring some shelves, but the tables and benches are already in place. The benches are actually from the summer dining hall tables where the kids sit to eat meals. They're stacked on top of each other and they make an excellent fabric display area. We do change things around as we're there because Deanne has demos that she takes around and then afterwards she puts all the supplies in the shop where they belong. Each of our camps has a theme to have fun with. Last fall, the theme was Scrap Roundup with a cowboy theme. This spring, our theme was Spring Break. Think beaches and fun in the sun. We find a quilt or two to fit the theme to make to hang on the wall. And then we also decorate the tables and main room with beach towels, shells, sand buckets, flip-flops, and beach balls. Plus, we always set up a photo booth opportunity just to create a selfie station or a place to take a picture with a friend. Once we're all set up, it's time for the quilters to arrive. This year, we had people join us from Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Missouri. We also invite the local quilters in the Spirit Lake area to come see us at the shop and shop while we're in the area. They love that we drive the store to them instead of them having to drive to us. The days at camp follow a simple schedule. Wake up when you want. Breakfast is at 8.30. Sew, shop, and snack until lunch, which happens at 1 o'clock. Sew, shop, snack, and nap until supper, which is at 6 p.m. Then it's sewing all evening. The last one up checks out all the irons to make sure they're turned off and turns off the lights. 
We all eat together in the dining hall for meals, and the menu changes every day. We have a lot of variety, and there's always a salad bar. Plus, each room has a snack table, so no one goes hungry here. Some of the offerings from the meals included chicken alfredo, roast beef, pulled pork, baked potato bar, country fried steak, chicken fajita, and chicken parmesan. Deanne takes her shopping cart around to all of the rooms to show the newest products and give demos on the newest and our favorite products. Our retreat is 10 days long, and we have a growing number of quilters that join us for the whole 10 days. Other quilters come for the first weekend, some come for the second weekend, and we have some that reserve time in the middle of the week because that's when they can join us. We try to accommodate as many schedules as we can. Almost every day, we have special sales at the shop. Three times a day, we'll have great bargains that everyone tries to see first. The fear of missing out is real when it comes to specials. Mindy, we call her our beauty fairy, is a local stylist that brings her shop to the camp to do manicures, pedicures, haircuts, and hand dips. It's nice to get pampered when you're at camp. Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp has a beautiful campus tucked away in a great, quiet neighborhood. It's a fun place to take a nature walk and see some beautiful views down by the lake. Every quilter works on whatever project they want to. There are no set classes, but we're always around if a quilter needs help or has a problem. At every camp, there is something that happens to make camp memorable for us. One year, we set up by flashlight after a storm roared through. Another year, a blizzard was predicted and it had us scrambling to get everyone to camp before it arrived. This year, a transformer nearby blew out at about 9.30 at night, causing everyone to go to bed early because it was really, really dark. Side note, always keep your phone charged so when the power does go out, you're not at 1% battery. I tried to get individual pictures of all the great quilters at Quilt Camp, but I know I missed a few. We did a time-lapse video of the lunchroom on a typical day at camp. It even captured our group photos. This spring at camp, we offered a lottery block for those interested. For every block you make, your name goes in the drawing to win all of the blocks. This year's block is a bikini block. We will have a video out soon on how to make the bikini block. Last fall, the block was a cowboy boot block. Connie won one batch of the blocks and brought her finished boot quilt to camp. It turned out fantastic. Show and tell is always a highlight. Each of the Saturday nights that we are there at camp, we invite all who are interested to share their work. We try to keep the inspiration going. I'm only showing some of the show and tell. There were so many great shares. Both big and small projects are celebrated. Some of the show and tell that I'm leaving out is because they tested the next mystery quilt for our YouTube channel. Be on the lookout for that series starting in April. If you've never done a mystery quilt, we invite you to check out the previous mystery quilts we've put on our channel. There are usually six clues, so there will be six videos in a series. You pick fabric without knowing what you'll be making, and we give you guidance on which fabrics to use and how to put it together one step at a time. The final clue reveals the last of the cutting, the piecing, and the finished design. 
We'll leave links in the description below to our mystery playlists. Check our website for future camp dates. The link is in the description below. We'd love to meet you at quilt camp someday. Hi everybody, we are back at camp and we thought we'd give you a little tour of our camp store. So this is our checkout table and cutting table. Our theme this year is spring break. So we've kind of got beach balls hanging up and swimsuits and all sorts of fun stuff that work with the spring break theme. In this corner of the room, we have some sale items. Got our tables all decorated, cute little beach balls. And then once you come inside the shop, which will go here because yes, we are open. And inside the door of the shop, we have our swimsuit quilt and this little gal, she's wearing her dress, isn't she sweet? And we've got a little table runner there. Got some fun Easter fabrics with our strawberry lemonade quilt here on the wall. Made from a layer cake, a white layer cake, and a charm pack with a cake mix. And then we have these quilts on the wall, the Easter bunny, because that's coming up quick and some fun quilts made from, uh, let's see, what was that line called? From Vintage Soul. So we got a table runner and that fun quilt. And that quilt is a great way to use those large scale prints that you don't want to cut up because you want to keep it whole and see all the fun designs. And this little Easter bunny, isn't he sweet? And then we have our tulip pink fabrics down here and some batiks. We try to bring a, a selection of all the different kinds of fabrics that we carry. We don't bring everything because this is a little room, but we bring enough. We can find something for you. Back in this corner, we have a little bit of Christmas. And then we have this fun camping quilt. And then we put in some stabilizers and batting. And then across the table, we have books, patterns, jelly rolls, kits, some Kansas Troubles back here in the corner. And then we have some springy looking quilts, a selection of books. We brought our St. Patrick's Day fabrics, some new things. We've got a wine table runner and banner. And then we got a collection of like 4th of July patriotic prints back here. The table runner up top on hanging off the uh, balance. It's kind of cool. Our newest fabrics are on the table there. A couple new projects. We don't have the binding on or the quilting done, but they're here. We try to get it done. And then in the corner, we have a Fruit Loop quilt. And then this is a quilt called Meet in the Middle from the Project Parade book. And we have kits. And then Berry Basket. We have a runner, Charmed, I'm sure. These three patterns actually, oh, well, all first five on this wall are part of the Peace Tree pattern lineup. This one is called To a T. And we have the kits and a couple of the craze layer cakes. And then we have this, we ran out of wall space. So this beautiful blue and yellow quilt got stuffed into a basket, but we'll take it around and show everybody. And then we had our Ponderosa quilt just a charm pack and a couple borders. And then the panel party quilt. It's a great way to use a one yard panel. And then just either just two borders or three borders. And then we have some fun stuffies here. The cats and the dogs. And look how sweet these are. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. 
So they're hanging out with us here. And we've got the little doggies too. They're, they're adorable. And moving on, we have this cute little baby quilt from the Just One Charm Pack book. And that's using a charm pack called Delivered With Love. And then we brought a little selection of 30s prints. And then this whole wall is the color wall. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We put in some aqua and some pink. And then in the corner, I brought my alphabet quilt with because I was so darn proud of it. Finally got it done, had to show that off. And then back here we have across the top the all-star banner pieces the all-star activity book that goes with it is on the table and then we have the to the moon quilt and then some farm coordinates some fun stuff for kids on here a little bit of everything all over the place and I brought my Ponderosa farm, which this is stinking adorable. This is the barn and it's got the horses in it. So it Velcro shut, but to open it up and it's got the little horsies in it, little horsies and they like to eat their hay. They have a lot of fun. And then when they're tired, they go back in and sleep. But oh my gosh, is that cute or what? And you can lay it out flat or just open an end. And it's got handy dandy handles so they can carry it around. Super, super cute. And over here on this side, we have what we call mystery bundles. There are three one yard cuts of fabric for $25, but we hide them. You don't know what you're buying. And they get one trade if they don't like one, but after that, they have to, if they open it, they keep it. So they have a lot of fun with that, and they always get a surprise, so it's really fun. And going down the middle, we have a shelf with thread and featherweight supplies and books. And then Deanne does all her demos, and she goes around and shows all the notions and the fun new stuff and stuff that is our favorites oldies but goodies we always have those so we bring a lot of stuff with us stuff we think they'll like stuff we think they need and then we bring a big selection of notions so that in case they've forgotten something or they need something new a lot of the charm packs we bring a lot of supplies for things we're demoing that way if they like it, they can get it. And then we bring a selection of rulers and panels, because there's always new panels every year. We've got fun new stuff. We've got needles and pins and supplies, more charm packs, and then some panels down there. This is, we're a few days in, so we're actually starting to run out of a few things. And then on this side, we have the basics, black, brown, gray, and white. You always need those kinds of things for quilts. But that is the store tour. So we hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what our camp store is like and what we have in it. At the end of the retreat, we pack up all our supplies and head for home. It's always sad to be packing it up, but everyone has to go home at some point. We're already plotting for our next camp, and we can't wait to come back to Okaboji. Thanks for all the fun, Okaboji Lutheran Bible Camp. We will see you again in September.